And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Car Mechanics Simulator 2021. I'm your host, RPG Guy. So we leveled to 22. Yay! Didn't take too long. And I did a bunch of short jobs. Yeah, you don't get as much XP. The more complex the job, the more XP you get. So it is what it is. But we are going to unlock Lucky. That way, after finishing an order, we might get a special case. What that means, I don't know. I know in previous installments of the game, a case had usually like a fancy um, goodie for you or something. I'm going to grab also any cars that I see that might be just easy fixes, fixers because clearly we're not going to level off of one car at a time. You know, one storyboard, storyline car and so on. So if I see one in here when I'm happening in here that's not putting on body parts because I hate the body part stuff. Oh, we'll get to it. So this is a COLX 550 V6 DOHC CHG. Oh, I've been having trouble with driving at night for some time. I'm not sure, but I think it is a matter of a weak car battery. The lamps are looking a bit dirty, but it shouldn't be a problem since I'm already here. Check if anything is working. Check if everything's working with my car. I'm neither a fan nor an expert. I get the impression sometimes that it starts to lose power on longer rides. Or maybe it's just that the cars are already of age. You can also wash it. I park it outside. It's a bit dusty, thanks. Good luck. Replace body parts. Okay, change oil. So it sounds like this is going to be mostly electrical. Electrical. So let's get her inside and hoisted. While that's gone, we can check in here. Car does not start. Came really diagnosed about like that. All right. So clearly, uh, reading fill windshield fluid, left head and right headlights. So let's go ahead. And get the headlights done. I thought he said it was dusty. It doesn't look dusty at all to me. Hmm. It doesn't look dusty at all. That's a nice car. Uh, change oil. Okay, so, and then everything else is a mystery, but clearly we're looking at lots of timing. That's not a good sign, because it could be that the crankshaft is bad. A lot of apparatus here. I see fuel rod, or fuel rails. I see the throttle already out the gate pretty bad. Um, looks like the air filter is bad, too. So yeah, yay, we got our work cut out for us. Let's go into parts and then let's go ahead and double check. That's fine and that, that's simple enough and that's simple enough. Um, I don't see the water, the water pump. So there's no way to know if we gotta drain the coolant. But we're gonna probably drain it anyway just because I said so. Well no, there's a way to do this. We can take the covers off. And actually what I should do, let's run our tests. How about that? The engine can't be started. Oh, well, they estab he established that there's something wrong with the electrical, so we'll take a look at that in a moment. Uh, I think the battery's dead. We'll go check the battery out. Let's see here. You should just come up with on this. Alternator bed, throttle, all a lot of the, if not almost all of the fuses are bad. Most of what's wrong here is going to be electrical, for sure. Yeah, even the battery's bad. So, let's start with grabbing the battery and charging it. So I just want to see if this is enough to get the car to start, because if it is, that that tells us a lot. All the stuff to sell. And if I repair it, I'll get more. 
but I'm lazy, so it doesn't help me in this exact moment. Okay. Um, if it still doesn't start, then we just start working on all the electrical that we can. And then kind of figure it out from there. Okay, still can't be started. So, if I was not mistaken, every fuse in here is bad. You're out, you're out, you're out, you're out. So let's go boop, 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 boop. Just one of those, three of those, four of those. Then we'll see if the car starts. Though it may not start because of a bad alternator as well, so. Which requires a little bit more work for us to get to it. Okay, so. I know there's a bad air filter. I look like there was a bad. Well, I don't know that there's a bad air filter. It just look like there was a bad air filter. And I stand by saying there's a bad air air filter. Yeah. I'll just get this installed. Again, I doubt this is why the car is not starting. It's probably an alternator thing. But we shall see. Could be, but I mean, it wouldn't surprise. Okay, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. So let's see. Where's that alternator? While we while we are here, we will replace some of this stuff. Okay, we have to do that. Something underneath. Oops, didn't mean to add the entry block. See if we can get to that pulley. Oh my, yeah. Okay, this is a lot worse on the inside than I thought. Chances are, though, this could be really all that's wrong with it, so. out Might as well do this while I'm at it. I 
I see bad camshafts. Da -da 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 All right. I see four bad camshafts. Okay, so we gotta re remove the coolant. That's not an option anymore. So leave it alone. Okay, because now we gotta do this. And we gotta now dig under the rest of the car, pretty much. The rest of the engine to get to the what, what else is wrong. So as far as diagnosing it any further, let's see what damage we really gotta do here. I just want to make sure before ordering a whole bunch of these that we're good. Okay. We're this deep into the car, there's probably a really strong chance we're going to go all the way to the engines, uh, all the way to the, uh, crank, uh, not the crankshaft itself, the cam, uh, pistons. We'll go check those out, because we're already this deep into the engine, there's no harm in not looking. We also got to do an oil change, so what we could also do, dump the oil, pull out the oil pan, and double check beneath the engine. Uh, when we go to do that, so yeah, before we put put, put any of this back together, because we're only, as you can see, we're only, clearly only a handful of parts away from the bottom of the engine. Though what I could do, yeah, we got a lot of undiscovered parts. Not to say that we don't see others, but it's more likely that it's going to be something here inside the engine at this point because I don't see a lot of stuff wrong in the suspension from where I'm looking I do see a bad fuel pump but that's only one one thing so not convinced that that is an issue no spark plugs are good These look okay, but again, I'm not convinced. Oh, I see a bad crankshaft. That's gotta be it. So that means we gotta take the whole car apart anyway. Good thing we started it. And actually, while we're doing that, we can replace the broken piece that uh, the the fuel thing. Um, We know we got to get to that crankshaft. Let's just pull this apart. 
should give us access to the gearbox. Starter looks okay. I don't know if I added this to our list, but we'll add it now. Okay, let's see. Hopefully we find more damage. Mm. It looks like it's just the flywheel. It's hoping for a little bit more damage here. That would really isolate what's wrong. Yeah, that looks pretty beat up. Okay, we gotta drain the oil. Let's take a look. Oh dear god, yeah, that crankshaft is done. It looks like actually a lot of the interlocks are done too. Let's see. Yeah, so one, so one, two, three, four, five, six. How many of these are in here too? Clearly that's gonna be a lot of what's wrong here. We still gotta get the crankshaft out, but it's very clear what's wrong is the underbelly of this beast. The pistons probably are fine. Maybe not the piston springs, though. But the pistons are fine from the looks of them. Can't tell about the piston springs until we get them off. Piston rings, rather. I said springs, didn't I? You idiot. Alright. Down. Loud exhaust. At the very end. All the piston rings are bad. Okay. The more you know. Okay, we gotta lift this back up again. Wow, wow, while that's going, let's grab this real quick. I mean, get this one done and out of the shop. We got a whole lot of nuts in there. Okay, so I think we've established 90% of what's wrong with the car. Um, one part not discovered, but everything else kind of is. And what's left is the other element here. Those look fine. Reservoirs could be bad, it's hard to say. This looks okay. The radiator looks fine. That that other part could be anywhere. So let's just start rebuilding the the car. Oh, we can't do that with that. <laughs> let's go ahead and start buying everything. The water pump. Serpentine belt B, exhaust manifold, cam gear. We're gonna need four of these guys, two of these guys, one throttle, four camshafts. Crankshaft. There's our oil filter. Black wheel. Those, two of these, and that's roughly enough to get started here. Okay. 
I can put these in. Pump. Alternator. You know what I didn't do is I didn't run diagnostics on that car. We I just power fixed. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes like 20, 30, 40, 50 XP or whatever it was that we were going to get. Oh, well. It is what it is. You know, I do want to do this, though. I want to build this side, because it had the bad um, uh, exhaust uh, manifold. I didn't put the uh, thing on the drive shaft. We'll do that in a minute. All right. After we reconstruct most of this, because we still got to go back underneath the car, so we're not even close to being done with most of that. I'm wondering if I took a part off the car and didn't realize it was bad. No, because if I would have taken it off, it would have registered as a bad part. We would have known what that part is. The fact that we've gotten it all the way down pretty much to the block should tell us that whatever's wrong is not possibly not the engine. We did replace the fuel pump. The fuel filter looks okay. But we don't know about anything else. So we'll have to do some exploratory diagnostics to see. It could be another electrical thing we're not thinking about. Or didn't register because we couldn't start the car. But we shall see. Should be able to refill this because we shouldn't have to take the engine apart. Hmm. 
I'm just snooping around. See if we can figure out what the problem is. No luck. Tiniest little fucking part somewhere, I know it. That one part. But we know it can't be the engine. There's one other thing I have not checked, and that's this. You ever have to sneeze and it doesn't come? Engine is not complete. How is it not complete? How could I close it if it's not off if it's not complete? Item that would suggest the engine is not complete. Let me put the drive shaft on. Oh, me, yeah, it could be that. I, that sounds ridiculous, though. Like I've never heard of a car you couldn't, an engine you couldn't test without the drive shaft on it. Incomplete. How it How could I reassemble this if it wasn't complete? It is ECU type A. Oh, I see what's missing. I I'm, whoops. I see what's missing. Hold on. That might be a problem, bro. And that actually is the last part, is it not? Yeah. So, all we gotta do is that. I'm not gonna diagnose this further, because we're not gonna get many points for it, because we've already figured it all out. What we do need to do... Refill the windshield back with fluid. And we gotta re realign the headlights. There's I fall right into the pit. Let 
Okay. It's all done. Twelve grand and then plus the parts. And then we're at four hundred and six, so let's see how much we get. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. 406. 600. So we're back at 1,000 XP again. Um, with still a lot to kind of do. And it really just comes down to, again, we got more jobs, to re cars to repair, and more fiddling around, really, with cars. And again, these ones with these low freaking numbers are going to be pains in the asses to work on, so I'd rather not. Um, and then we've got suspension issues. It's what's here, and we can't. I'm just better than standing around doing nothing. And then I saw another one that was transmission, I think. There's transmission and brakes. That I, uh, hmm. I'm going to do that. It's a little crustier of a car, but the transmission is mostly located in one area. Brakes are mostly located in one area, so it shouldn't be too too crazy. A lot of this stuff we can dump. No, I didn't really have the parts list because our parts list is rather rather done. We don't need any of this crap. Two cases, nice. Um. Um, running gear, suspension. Suspension is going to be trickier, but unless it's not much in the suspension. Okay, not much actually is wrong with the car. We just got to figure it out. I see a bad knuckle. That that could be the suspension. I see a bad gearbox. So. Looks like that's really it. Okay, so let's get this car up. Because it's pretty straightforward what's wrong with it. We gotta get the tire off. And we gotta get this all the way down. I see a bad tie rod too. Good to know. As we're doing this, look at that. So this would be the sloppy steering rather than the suspension. Box while we're at it. And then reassemble. Get over here. Take the sucker off. I mean, we may as well just use the rest of the episode time, running time, to show you guys just, you know, work on some more cars, solve their problems. And yes, I know I didn't diagnose the whole car. Though, to be fair, suspension doesn't matter, and gearbox is. Yeah, I might have. I, we will test this car before we let it leave the, leave the garage. Because again, that's free XP. 
that we would be missing out on. Actually, the rest of it, the rest of it's okay. So let's put it back together. With just the gearbox. We'll make sure there's no other problems with your vehicle, sir. But I know there's no other problems with the vehicle. Shut up! You fool! You fool! All that electrical. <laughs> I'm sure the more modern the car, the more information we seem to have access to. So, that other car doesn't look too modern, so we may not be able to get an OBD reading, which gives a pretty good amount of uh, XP. See, you can see the stuff that we've actually examined, like the starter, didn't give us an XP. Nice. All right, this car is done, I believe. Here's the transmission by itself. Again, it's an easy fix. Another bad transmission. Again, just take easy jobs so we can run tests and diagnostics. Here's engine. This is work. Well, we'll grab it. Grab it. Our lot is full anyway. So with that said, guys, uh, we're going to stop a little early because, yeah, i got to fix these cars. And pretty much once they're fixed, it'll be mostly kind of leveling at that point. Because, like I said, it's going to be just banging our head against the wall doing this pretty basic, simple work. And the idea behind it is we're going to use diagnostic tools to give us the XP we need. Um, and by doing that, it'll, you know, we'll level up faster. I'm going to try to get to level 23. I may even just bite the bullet and try to power to 24. But the thing is, or get close enough that we'll get five or 600 XP for the storyline one to get us to the next level. So that way we can kind of just boom right into the next level. I haven't decided fully how I'm, if I'm going to do that or not, but it just makes sense to me for us to. Uh, approach it this way. So anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Studios for more live gaming action, as well as more live gaming action here on YouTube. Anywho, thanks for stopping by, guys, and we'll see you guys next time.